верить в самого себя, чтобы он, а он может все. In Russia, Evgeny Flushenko is the biggest person standing in my way from being a gold medalist. What a return for Flushenko! Here he is back 10 months later, not the return that he was hoping for. I didn't even make the podium. Ужас, ужас. I don't know if it's for me anymore. Hi Johnny, it's me. I just wanted to call and see how you were feeling. I don't know what happened when he went out there for the long program in Russia. He lost it. Whatever pressure was on before, it's double now. Every time he doesn't skate so well, you have to impress that many more people the next time. There's a ton of pressure for NHK. He needs to win. See you in Japan. I'm worried. I hope that his mind is strong. I've never once taken my talent for granted. I believe so much in myself and so much in what I can do that when you do get knocked down, it's a huge cut to your ego. It's hard to get back on the ice, but if this is my last season, I want to go out with a bang. Делать. Делать. Next week I head to Japan for the NHK trophy competition and I desperately need a medal there. I'm salting my foot at the moment because I had a bad landing. It's been a tough week. Lots and lots of skating has happened. Tonight I'll probably spend it cleaning the tubs and the, and the showers and the sinks because that's what I do to relax. In many ways I'm missing this time in my life when I'm allowed to be young and crazy. I have no time to go to parties, to hang out. I'm still chasing dreams that I made when I was 12 years old. So I have a very lonely life and very few of my friends understand the life that I have. There's nothing I would change about my life, but I mean there are things that I, I miss. Like living with Paris. Having Paris there was nice because I could immediately forget the troubles of my day. He could sit around and he would listen because he was just kind of there and he didn't want to walk or anything. <laughs> but a few months ago, Paris moved out. I definitely miss Paris every day. I miss his antics. And I hope he misses me. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour, um, introduce you to my roommates and my new fabulous life. <laughs> These are my roommates. Uh, this is where we chill. This is my lab. Looks just like me, right? Here's my bedroom where the magic happens. And my hot view. Living with my new roommates is great. We're happier, we have more fun. Are you drunk already? No, I'm not drunk already. Yes, he is. <laughs> For the record, I am. <laughs> Let's do it. Way. Living without Johnny is really good. He was always gone a lot of the time anyway. To be an elite level athlete, you have to give everything up, and that includes moments you could have spent with your friends, or dinners you could have had, or dates you could have gone on. I have none of that. Loneliness is terrible, but I'm, I'm very self sufficient. I can entertain myself. I have my vacuum cleaner to make lines in my carpets. I make shadow pictures on the wall sometimes if I'm really bored. My roommates cook as well too, but I don't have steak anymore. 
yeah, it's a fabulous apartment. We have a fabulous life. Four days you work, hard work, like horse work, yeah? Look at your face. Look. It's shiny. <laughs> no, no. Tomorrow I head to Nagano, Japan for the NHK Trophy Grand Prix. The competition is going to be fierce, but at least my two biggest competitors, Evan, and the Russian champion, Yevgeny Plushenko, will not be there. Because I was fourth place in Russia, NHK is extremely important. I need to win or be second to have any chance of competing in the Grand Prix Final. Going to NHK Trophy, I'm more trained than I've ever been. More power! Jelly Johnny! And I'm in the best physical shape. And the problem with that is, this is exactly how I felt for Russia. To perform in front of all these people, you have to have an ego. You have to build yourself up to the point where nobody can knock you down, except yourself. And then when you when you do get cut, it it, it kills you to to fall down. Johnnychuk, what's your problem вот здесь? Как вот это начинается? Не твое это, не твое, Джоник, не твое это. Сделай шаг через себя, через Джоника. Борис сам с Джон, Джонит борется с Джоником бороться, не ни с кем. Вот со своим менталитетом. She knows how hard I've worked and how much training we've done this summer, and she doesn't want me to give in to my own emotions from having a bad first competition. She said the only thing that you're having an issue with right now is your head. She's right on the money. I mean, I I felt like I could do a clean run through today, and then when I made a mistake, it kind of cracked my bubble and I was just like, oh fuck it, it's not going to be clean anyway, just make, just let yourself fall if you want to. I am in Nagano, Japan. When you're on flights with all these strange people and you never know who's sick and babies, there's always a chance for disasters. <coughs> This is Vyacheslav Romanov here to interview mother of super diva Johnny Weir. He came from her vagina. Warmest greetings, Miss Petty. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Might say, in Murmansk right now, these lashes so popular. Johnny thought it would look really good on me and enhance me. And you're happy with this style. Well, I'm having a really, really hard time keeping the redness out of my eye, but I'm trying to adjust. First, I must ask. What has happened with Johnny in Russia? Because he is terrible. I take offense to that. He was terrible. Johnny could skate around the ice and never jump, and I would think he's wonderful. That is what mother should say, but you are a grown woman. Why is he terrible? He tried too hard to please the audience. From your woman part, making Johnny out, what's destiny for Johnny? Um, to be a figure skater for the people. Of what place? Any place. More so than a figure skater for judges. Mm. He just has to believe in himself. Miss Pete, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Ooh. I am in Nagano, Japan. I just came off 14 hour flight from New York to Tokyo and then um, a six-hour bus ride to here, so it's a beautiful day. Hi, tired. Now I have to unpack my stuff, get everything settled for the week. 
Uh, the trip was long. I've been up 30, how long, Diane? 31. 31 hours traveling. That's not counting how long I've been up. Wow. It's long. This for me? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have amazing legions of fans in Japan. Wow. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Ikuko, like a lot of Japanese, calls herself a super fan, which is cute. And yesterday I actually said something to her like, oh, you're, you're part of the family now, you uh, are always with us, you help when I'm sick. She says, no, 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 I'm not family, I'm a fan. So she was like, don't forget that. <laughs> Fruits and drinks and to relax. Okay. They're from my very dear friend Ikuko. Yes, hello. Um, I need more hangers. I love Japan because it's such an anal retentive country. It's perfect for someone like me. You go there, you can eat off the ground. Everything, it's in its place. It's like a culture shock sometimes to come here because we were just in Russia and people are very rude and very gruff. It's like a big hassle to get more hangers in my hotel and here they're like, okay, be right up with seven. And he'll come with exactly seven, I'm sure. Like I said. Hi, come on in. Kenichiwa. Ikuko brought me this, and you're going to die when you see what's actually inside it because there are so many wonderful things, such as this loofah. She bought me Dior cologne. Uh, pleasure of Japanese bath, which I actually use at home. And Mama, I brought this down for you. I know you like it when you visit me, but she thinks I still use it, but I don't. Delicate ritual. <laughs> that sounded awful. <clears throat> oh. I don't feel good. I feel like my chest has like layers of phlegm. Just wrapped in a tight ball. I'm sure someone on this plane was sick. When you're on flights with all these strange people and you never know who's sick and babies and old people and there's there's always a chance for for disasters. I use my entire body for my job so my health is extremely important. You use your lungs so much and you use your nose and you have to breathe and every time you breathe if you're coughing you you won't get very far. I feel very ill right now. I started to feel sick on the flight. <clears throat> By the end of the flight, I was coughing a lot and coughing things up. <coughs> oh. Now that I'm sick, Galena has decided that the best thing for me is to be locked up in my hotel room until the competition. Unfortunately, that also leaves me locked up in my head. Yesterday, like we said on bus, I think he's just a little bit starting to feel like pro. Uh -oh. I think the best thing that Johnny could do is get out and walk around right now and breathe some air. Gosh, Johnny needs people around him. He can't be holed up in his hotel room all day. Well, I know that. You know that. Johnny knows that. But that's just not the Russian way. I'm like doctor. I'm trying not to be in the hotel. I'm just out to enjoy the day and really, 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 really not sit in my hotel room. Everybody thinks they know what's best for me, but what I really need is some retail therapy. Thank you. For the moment, I bought everything I'd like to buy. I got some cake that I'm just gonna look at. I bought tissues because the ones in the hotel hurt my nose. I bought these herbal foot refresher. <laughs> Excuse me, these herbal foot refreshers that go on the bottom of your feet and you put socks on and walk around and it feels very nice. And I got a coffee. I did nice. I'm happy with my purchases of the day. <coughs> I'm sick. <coughs> oh. 
so much. I'm pretty beat. I'm, I think I'm just gonna lay down. You guys can go to the temple without me. Okay. Love you. Love you. Johnny has had sinus conditions since he was a young boy. Okay. When he was born, his eustachian tubes were underdeveloped. You can imagine walking around and trying to exercise with not being able to breathe through your nose. It doesn't matter where I'm at or what I'm doing. I always have my kids on my mind. Say a prayer? I don't think this is a Catholic temple, so we're having a little bit of issue understanding the Buddhist side of it. It's been a long season on him mentally. I think there's always that self-doubt. Or am I not measuring up? Or am I not as good as I should be? I don't want him to do this to his head again. And I want him to skate clean. I want him to suck everybody in that's in the audience into that music. That's what I want. The field here is ridiculous. The Japanese here are so strong. If I have another bad performance, who knows what can happen to me mentally. When you have a chest cold or an infection in here, it's really hard to compete. NHK Trophy is definitely an opportunity for me to prove myself to myself. If I have another bad performance, I'll, who knows what can happen to me mentally. If my performance is the same as Russia, I should probably just be finished for the season because I'll lose any sliver of respect that I still had from judges in the Federation and it, it would basically be impossible to make the Olympic team. Johnny needs to skate really well and he just needs to skate his best. Johnny Weir! Johnny said it's probably going to be better that I'm sick. I'm probably going to go out there thinking I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick and not think about every tiny little thing in my program and my head will be easier that way. The problem is here. Make a move through yourself, through Johnny. Opens here with a triple Lutz, triple toe combination. Very smooth ride out. Next element, very important. He had a lot of trouble with the triple axle in Russia. Very nice. Okay, now Johnny's back. a great comeback for Johnny Weir. Johnny was amazing. Everything is good. He has to keep good. It's just after the short. He skated with open mouth, <laughs> like fish. <laughs> Why fish? Because not, not can breathe. It's not a time in my career when I can relax and withdraw and just, just say I'm sick. I have to push and um, prove myself again to have the high fever. Uh, and to still skate a clean short program, it's it's very good for me <laughs> because I'm fragile. <laughs> uh, this is first time like he showed me he's a real man, a real, a real skater. So many fans in Japan and so many people that support me and, and love me and in Japan it's very different. They love me very much for the way I perform. This is Johnny's wonderful Japanese fans. They are just gifts for appreciation. Look at the card. I thought he skated great. I thought it was a huge hurdle. I think he did a phenomenal job for not being able to breathe. This isn't even funny. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
you see how big that one is? <laughs> so cute. Yeah, I, I need to sleep. I don't feel good. Can I bring you something up? No, no, no. It's okay. Well, I'm very proud of you. Thank you. I'm feeling fine. He skated good last night, and I know he's fine, except for this sinus infection, and I do sense the self-doubt is gone, and I know he's gonna do what he can do today, and that's all I've ever asked of him. With the short program, I proved to myself that I'm still a great skater, but now I want a medal, and there are 11 other skaters that would like to see me fail. The skating community is very fickle, and with me, they're especially fickle for whatever reason. Maybe I bring it on myself, but if you don't prove yourself and you don't skate consistently, then they can very easily write you off and bring somebody from behind you and put them in your place. The field here is ridiculous. The, the Japanese here are so strong. Kazuka and Daisuke is back. It's amazing. Then there's Joubert here. Then the US team has Jeremy. It's so packed. Tony sets up here, triple flip to start his program. Great start, following it up with a crucial combination, the triple axle, triple toe loop. He really struggled with this in Moscow. Now that's what we've expected from him. just about every ounce of energy he had, it looks. Well, Johnny Weir looks much different than he appeared in his first Grand Prix of the season, looking more like the three-time U.S. national champion. Johnny skated basically clean. It was a great performance. He did everything that he needed to do. He skated great. I'm so sick. Um, I was really scared when I started because I didn't know how long I would be able to last with my condition. He's a good boy. At the end of my long program, I'm in first place in the standings, but there are two more skaters up next who could knock me off the podium. I need to get at least a silver medal to repair my reputation and have a chance of getting to the Grand Prix final. Jeremy Abbott! Jeremy came in second in the short program and is the current U.S. champion. He's a great skater, and a favorite in the U.S. skating press. Fortunately for me, he can be quite unpredictable. Up next is Brian Joubert, a world champion. He came to NHK with the same problem I did. He had a horrible premiere for the season. He needs a win as much as I do. And at the end of the competition, he gets it. Considering how ill I am, I'm just happy I can hang on to my silver. But he did well. He, he's excellent. Because he's real sick. Galena was really excited after the competition because she said you made a step over yourself, you were sick, you felt awful, and you still gave this great, amazing performance, and she, she was very pleased. Very proud of him. I'm happy with second. Um, I don't think there was that much of a difference between first and second, but it doesn't matter. Him and Joubert both had to prove something, and I think they did. I'm so proud of him. I want to give him a big hug. <laughs> With this an Olympic season, I wanted my free program to be something about myself and about my journey and my feelings. And I want to leave audiences feeling like they've seen something pure that isn't choreography. I want them to have the feeling they watch something that came from my heart. <laughs> I have broken out. I'm very upset about it. I'm agitated. I'm so sad that 
Diane and Patty aren't with me right now. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Tara, I want to have sex. I feel very prepared for the Grand Prix Final Competition, but everyone's a threat. All of US figure skating is watching.